if you are thinking about moving to the Asheville area, this is going to be the most important video that you can watch. Now, you know, we have been through a lot in the last month in Asheville, but we are a resilient bunch over here and quite lovable too. So I've made a lot of videos that you can check out on the channel about after the hurricane. This is not going to be as much of that, but we are also going to take you through the data of what is happening in the real estate market here in Asheville, if it's still a good idea for you to move here or not. We're gonna show you some pretty rad homes too. You are not gonna to wanna to miss this. Talk to some locals, we're gonna eat some grub. You know how it goes. Stay tuned, tune in, and let's do this, man. We have a home inspection coming up in the Weave, people call it Weaverville. And so we gotta stop in and get a little bite to eat before we head over to the home inspection. And when in Weaverville, when in the Weave, you gotta go to the well bread. It's like mama's kitchen. <gasps> wow, it's busy and it smells so good right now. Hi, how's it going? Do you live in Asheville? I live in Weaverville, just outside of Weaverville. Okay. Do you like Weaverville? I do. What's your favorite thing about Weaverville? Uh, just the small quaintness. There's things to do here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have friends that you see around, and is there like a yoga place and like shopping? Mm, not so much. You go to Asheville? You just go to restaurants and go to Asheville. You go to Asheville. Yeah. But Asheville's what? How long does it take you to get to Asheville? 15 to 20 minutes, okay. depending on... Yeah, maybe 30. Okay. Yeah. Depending on the time of the day. Yeah. And your mood. And what if you're part, like, what, what car you have? What part? Oh, town. what part of Asheville? Yeah. 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 If you were yeah. in your Tesla, you go real fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in your helicopter, you go super fast. What should we get here to eat? Oh, it's all really good. Cake? Did you say cake? Look at all, look at all these people. Oh, it's like Lady in the Train. <laughs> I want to let y'all know something too is that we don't only do relocation we do relocation we help people move to Asheville all the time but you know what else we do there's a lot of local shifting happening right now so we also help local sellers and buyers too so even if you don't need the information on what it's like to move to Asheville we know everything real estate so feel free to reach out any of the ways down below if you're a local or if you're thinking about moving to Asheville we got you covered yes that's us thank you oh that looks awesome This is one of my favorite stores in Asheville and I just wanted to show it to you all because it's so cute. It's called Moonlight Makers and they have the funniest shirts. Like every now and then I fall, every now and then I fall apart. Talking about a taco. Talking about a taco. Asheville, Asheville, North Carolina and what is going on right now is 100% of the profits from Asheville Designs will be do donated to Beloved Asheville which is helping out a lot post hurricane. You live in Asheville? Okay, cool. We're trying to we're trying to get the vibes back up around here after all that's <laughs> happened. Sure. How do you like living in Nashville? Yeah, it's I great. love it. What's it's, your experience been like? I really like um, the unexpectedness and the, the spontaneousness of it all. Like, like of the people or the place? The people and the place. Okay. And I love the place just because it's so beautiful, and it's so weird to go other places and realize that they don't have like what we have. I know, we live a little bit in a bubble, right? Yeah. I've been all over the world and I've never found a place like Asheville. Really? Oh yeah. I'm like, hmm, maybe I could live somewhere else. I'm like, no, no, no. Because my people are here, right? Mm -hmm. Did you grow up here? Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah, born and raised. Which part of town? Uh, All over, really. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So where'd you go? Do you go to high school? Mm -hmm. Where do you go to high school? I go to North Buncombe. <laughs> okay. Do you like that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is that right. like Weaverville area? Mm -hmm. um, what's it like to grow up in Asheville? I mean, I'm really grateful for it, but I didn't realize like that this place is completely different than a lot of other places. Hmm. Yeah. And I didn't really know that. And like, in I what ways do you think it's different? Well, it's a really outdoorsy, and I definitely took advantage of that when I was younger. And then through like middle school, I was like, oh, but we don't have anything here like place like New York does. Yeah. But when I really think about it, and I'm. I'm really pretty outdoorsy now mm -hmm. and I'm like but like places bigger cities don't have what we have and like just, in the community vibe yeah, the and community and also how just everyone is 
really sticking together, especially through these like really hard times. And yeah. I mean, it's great, and it's just such a beautiful town. It is such a beautiful town. Mm -hmm. Do you go hiking and stuff too? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Okay. I yeah, like I to mean, sit in nature more so than walk. You like to sit in nature and meditate? Uh, yeah, sometimes, in a way. <laughs> you like to zen out? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I mean, Asheville's like a small city, right? Yeah. I mean, so it's not New York City, obviously. I love New York as well. But it is. it has so much here. And some big acts come through town. And, yeah. like, there's lots of art mm -hmm. and cool music. I do and... love the art part of it. And I'm absolutely devastated over River Arts District. River Arts District, yeah. It is so sad. Yeah. I, like, I love that part of town. And just, like, it has so much personality mm -hmm. too. And I don't know. Do you feel safe in Asheville? I do. Yeah. 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 I mean, maybe not at night, but. Yeah, you got, I mean, it's a small <laughs> city, right? I mean, you got to yeah. watch your back if but you're downtown or something like that. At night, you wouldn't want to be downtown at 2 o'clock in the morning by yourself. Definitely. But otherwise, you feel pretty safe. Yeah. Well, thank you all. Thank I you. appreciate it. This yeah. is the Living in Asheville YouTube channel. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. Awesome. We'll check it out. Thank yeah. you. See you later. Are you Justin? I am. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Do you have a quick walkthrough time? I've got about five minutes. That's so awesome. either I can do it or you can do it, Let's however do it you together. want to do it. Show me the major highlights real fast sure. because this is such a unique property. Yes. I don't want to miss anything. So this home was custom built in 2007, just under 5,000 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, guest quarters downstairs, elevator, outdoor dining, Five minute walk to the Grove Park Inn. That's crazy. Rock the new here. This is so cool. And what kind of style is this? So it's Mediterranean style. Okay. Yeah, in the so mountains. Very, very Mediterranean unique. in the mountains. That's right. Cust I said it was custom, didn't I? Bet? You yeah. sure did. <laughs> okay, let's see it. Let's check it out. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I was reading all about this home and I was like, there's everything. Yes. There's everything. Y'all stay tuned because there's a sauna. I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. Welcome into our home. There's great main level hosting here. Um, back around us behind here, we've got a wonderful den with a fireplace. Wait, great sitting room uh, for hosting. This is very formal. Very formal, nice light, big windows, big fireplace. So this fireplace is one of the three fireplaces throughout the home. So we're going to get to see a lot of fire here today to keep us nice and warm. Nice, and one of them is even like see-through, right? Like, yes, it, yeah. correct, and the side. primary uh, suite has one that looks through to the bedroom as well as the bathroom. <gasps> so great indoor-outdoor living here as well. So as you come through into the living room area, you come into or the kitchen and the main living room area. Oh so, my God. Huge chef's kitchen. Tons of space, great for hosting, very functional as well as beautiful. Okay, I'll get over that in a minute. Look in here at the fireplace. This is gas, right? You didn't Correct. you didn't get here early and kind of I start was, the fire. I was out chopping wood, but that was just to keep up my that figure. Is, what a good realtor. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this feels so good. This really puts out some heat too. Yeah, so you definitely get the kind of mountain vibe in here. So this is where you get the interesting juxtaposition of styles in this home, where it is Mediterranean, but you do have components of it that really are true to Asheville and the mountains. And I yeah. think this room really embodies that. Absolutely. It's so cozy in here. Yeah, great. And then one of my favorite features of this home is you've got the wonderful kitchen and it leads into some wonderful indoor outdoor living here. So great full outdoor kitchen here, the grill, stove. Is this a pizza oven? Pizza oven, that's right. How fun. A pizza oven. Yeah, and so you get a ton of privacy back here. Again, great for hosting. You really get to enjoy, you know, the beauty of uh, being outside this. in Asheville. This is a full kitchen. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm in. I'm down. I'm down. I feel like I want to pay more for this house. Yeah. Well, we're a bargain price of 1.799 million. Oh my gosh, he gave it away. <laughs> he gave it away already. So here, one of the great things about this home, you got the five full bedrooms, but you still have main level living here for the primary. So laundry room over here, but then you've got your primary bedroom here on the main level, which is obviously a really important feature for a lot of folks who are looking to buy in Asheville. Oh yeah. Um, and you've got some good separation of space. So you've got your guests upstairs or in the downstairs apartment, and then you can kind of be here on your uh, on the main level with a little bit of peace and quiet and privacy. What's on the other side of this fireplace? So this is your primary bathroom here on the other side. So we've got the look through fireplace. 
for both the bedroom as well as the primary bath. You have a and fireplace see, in the bathroom? And, and you can feel how warm it is in here, right? I mean, this really, it's more than just the aesthetic of it. It really throws off a I lot of like heat. I feel like I'm going to cry, Justin. This is amazing. Well, well don't cry because okay. you're never going to be cold coming out of the shower ever again once you buy this house. And it has wood floors in here, which is so cozy and nice in the bathroom. Look how mm. big this shower Giant is. Giant shower. So, you know, if you want to continue your hosting engagement in here, I suppose it's big enough to do so. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot of people these days that are having, that are hosting parties in the shower, right? Yeah, right. Look at this bathtub. I love this. Bath Bathtub and then huge walk-in closet. Here. Huge walk-in closet. Beth, can oh, you hear me? Oh gosh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. And then one of the other really great features here, again, think about hosting in this home. Um, coming around this way, we've got a billiards room. What? A whole billiards room? A whole room? billiards room. This is like small, cozy couches, bar, pool table. This is like the hang spot. So you really sometimes you see these and you don't really want to be in there. Like right. there's nothing else to do except the pool table. But here, it's actually you can play piano, you can play cards, you can sit on the couch. Yeah. Foosball. Super functional room. So I envision this home. You host in the kitchen. You have a lovely outdoor dinner party. Enjoy an Asheville sunset here on Sunset Mountain, and then come in here for libations and some pool, some foosball. Who's have not going to want to be your friend? Everyone's going to be want to be your friend. Great way to make friends. That's amazing. Okay, so here's like a little wet bar. A little no. wet bar area, kind of prepped for uh, uh, formal dining. So formal dining room in here. And again, looks out a ton of natural light here in the winter through the trees. You get some long range mountain views. Yeah. Really, really fantastic. So great floor plan that kind of flows. You've got the separation of space, but then you've also got everything's connected in a way that's great for hosting. So. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Let's upstairs and we can see the rest of the bedrooms. Okay, let's do it. You've got five bedrooms. Each bedroom has its own bath. This is really cool. I feel like I'm at the Biltmore. Okay. Yeah, so it definitely <laughs> has that kind of estate. Again, it's great for... Uh, for if you have a lot of company, visiting family, things of that nature. Oh, so yeah. each of the bedrooms has its own ensuite bath. And they're really nice. Too. Really nicely done, good size as well. Um, yeah. You'll notice this room has some access out here onto our balcony outside. Overlook your domain while everyone else is down there cooking dinner hey. and preparing. Can, you can order your pizza right here. You just swing it right Hi, up I'll here. have pepperoni and, right. and pineapple or if that's allowed. For the right allowed. offer, we'll install a zip yeah. line or a dumb a waiter. Zip? So. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> Wow, you can really get lost in here. You can really get lost in here, so stay with me, guys. Okay. So over here, we've got an additional bedroom. Again, ensuite bath. Kind of a tub look, very old school vibe. Let's see, more outdoor space here on the front. So if you want to come out here and really enjoy the sunset. What? This is where you can watch the sunset, because this is called Sunset Mountain, sunset right? Sunset Mountain, absolutely. Okay, yep. so this and is we're the just place. down the road here to the left, less than a quarter of a mile, is the world famous Grove Park Inn. Yes. So you can walk right down there. Enjoy dinner on their Sunset Terrace if you don't feel like making dinner at home and oh walk right goodness. back. And meet all your friends there. Yeah, like, oh, do the gingerbread that's, houses and the Can you imagine that's, that's your local hangout? That's yeah. your haunt is the Grove Park? It can be, Beth. Beth. That's amazing. That's amazing. Gorgeous. And there are some views here. I can see the mountains. Yeah. Especially with the leaves gone right now. There's an additional bedroom over here. You'll never guess what we call this room. We call this room the pink room. The pink room. It's yeah. so cozy. I so, love how they've done this. Yeah, it's really cute. I think a lot of interesting architectural details in here. Again, this was a custom home, and so the sellers really spared no expense in um, spending the extra money to really give the home a ton of character. So I love the shape of this room, the ceiling. You've got the high ceiling, and then some really wonderful windows, again, looking out over that sunset mm. view and over the mountain. So Fabulous. if you're going to be a guest here, I would recommend getting dibs on this room first. Lastly, up here, as if we didn't have enough entertaining and hosting space and stuff, I'm quick. I know. Oh my God. Oh, look, it's my office. So if you want to come here and plan world domination, I would recommend this is the room to do so. <laughs> okay, I love it. Look at this, and you even have, so you could totally have, have, you know, clients come in here, and then you have another little wet bar here. Uh, right. So you want to do the Mad Men style, you know, have a oh, whiskey yes. and, and close some, some deals. deals. Jinx. <laughs> we also, there's an elevator. The elevator is not working today. Oh, I know. No. So the sellers are out of town. They took the elevator down to the lower level, uh -huh. but they left the door open. Oh, so since it's open, you can't call it from up here. Oh. Oh, but there's an elevator and it's so cool and I wish I could show it to you. Okay, I'll have to come back and ride the elevator because it's my favorite thing. Yes. So. Oh, so we can't get in the second living quarters? No, orders? unfortunately not. Okay, no problem. So we're good. I'll close up. Great. <laughs>
Awesome. Thank you so much. Y'all, I can't believe this house. Now, you know sometimes I fall in love with homes, but this is really cool because it's in such a historic part of town near the Grove Park Inn, and you can really feel it here. Look at the staircase. It just sweeps up with a floating staircase, and they have thought about everything. You know, like the listing agent said, this is a custom home, so there was, there was really no expense spared. I'm surprised surprised at the price. Full chef's kitchen all the way around. You have so much space here. This is like 3,800 square feet on one floor and then 1,800 square feet on the top floor. And the heat that's coming off of this fire feels so amazing right now. We're just heading into fall and it just feels so toasty. I love the idea of having a cozy nook right off the kitchen where people can hang out and order stuff. So let's, uh, you know, my other favorite thing is the primary bedroom that he, he showed us too. Just having that, that walk through, uh, see through fireplace right there is amazing. I love the tall ceilings. I love the huge shower that we looked at too. And this bathtub, we're just so cozy here, right in the corner. And then it's totally private. I mean, they have something on the wall right here. I mean, on the windows right there, but it is totally private. And this feels so amazing. Okay, so I'm totally doing this. I'm totally doing this in my, in my house sometimes. That's such a great idea to have a fireplace that goes through from the bedroom to the bathroom. So you have the washer and dryer right here, right off the primary, which is absolutely perfect and so easy. And then this outdoor living space would offer you so much extra area to be a part of. I mean, you think about the climate here in Western North Carolina. Now we have a climate that offers I don't know, about three-fourths of the year, you're outside. You really are. So you can be in and out in this right off the kitchen, which is ideal. The cool thing about this home that they mentioned is a lot of the furnishings that you see here come with the home. So it's not like you have to buy this big home. This is almost 6,000 square feet. Is that right? Five bedrooms, five and a half baths. It's not like you have to buy this huge home and then you have to furnish the whole thing because I think a lot of the furnishings come with it. This is a cool house. Especially with the location and the billiards room. Look at this. And I love how light and bright this is. It's kind of cool enough to see it green. Okay, so we want to give you all an update on the Asheville market. Everybody's contacting us and they're like, what's happening? Are there fire sales or are prices holding steady? What's really going on? And so I wanted to bring the expert in today, Zach Ruiz. He has the Ruiz report, which is phenomenal. Um, I get it once a month in my inbox. I can share it with you. It goes out in our newsletters. If you're interested in this, please let us know. We'll send it out to you as well. And he's going to give us a little bit of data, hard data about what we've seen before the flood, after the flood, and hopefully a little bit of what to expect in the future. So Zach, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You are the absolute expert when it comes to data in the real estate, real estate market in Asheville, and I'm so glad that you're here. So tell us what you know so far. Sure. Um, I'm just going to share my screen, screen excuse me, and show you the tail of the tape. So this is an upcoming blog article um, you can get at thereadsreport.com, and so we're just going to go after the hard facts here. So this red line represents when Helene made landfall in Western North Carolina, and as you can see here, we're covering seven different counties. But living in Asheville, let's just worry about Buncombe. And so you can click them all away, right? So this is daily new listings. So every day, how many homes come for sale? New listings, right? And before this red line, you'll see the height of these bars. After the red line, shortly following Hurricane Helene, you'll notice, well, people didn't list their homes and that makes sense, right? Maybe you couldn't access it. Certainly there wasn't water. A lot of places there wasn't power. So there was a gap. But as you see, as we've moved on and, and we've recovered in the area, you'll see that it's returning to some version of business as usual. We're also entering the winter months, so there's some seasonality involved here, but you can see that we're going back to business as usual. And if we did it all, right, so this is cumulative, adding everything up. What we're looking at here is the slope of the graph, right? So that rate of change, how, what, what's the curve look like? So you can see directly after the storm, the curve looks pretty flat. And we just saw that every day people weren't adding their homes. But now look towards the end of October going forward, we are returning to a, a healthy looking slope. Business is back or get, coming back rather. The next thing you wanna look at is pendings. How many homes went under contract during this period? 
Again, no surprise, many homes did not go under contract in the weeks following Helene. Again, you can't close on a home until there's water. And in the city of Asheville, water wasn't even running until October 16th or so. So, right, there, there's a story behind the story as to why homes weren't going under contract. But again, as you see, the height of these bars to the left, we're returning to some version of business as usual. Um, again, if you add up, oh, you can subscribe for a newsletter. Again, mm -hmm. if you if you add it uh, all up, we're looking at the slope, the change. We're returning to that healthy up and to the right. As far as prices are concerned, right? Think about it. Prices are based on supply and demand, and demand was just shrunk. So, assuming supply or rather demand stays the same, people still think it's a great idea to live here, and I think it's an amazing idea to live here. In fact, after the storm, we got to see basically how cool everyone is, how everyone chipped in and helped each other and neighbors were neighborly, the businesses are doing what they gotta do. I think demand's gonna stay some version of the same. So with supply shrinking, I don't really see prices uh, going down. I don't see the fire sale situation happening personally, but we'll have the data. Yeah, that's what we've that. seen too. Yeah. That's what we've seen too, is like just prices are staying quite steady. It's quite um, comparable to last year, actually yeah. at, at this time. Um, is, are you seeing that same thing? last year versus this year? So the average price of a home in Buncombe County, and I remember that's if you take all of the homes, add up their prices and divide it by how many homes, it was about 692 and change, and floating around $700,000, the average. The median floats around 450. We have we have seen uh, a decrease in the increase, right? So like it's not increasing as quickly, but certainly it's holding and you know still still appreciating in value. So prices are strong here, they're, they're sticky. Perfect. Yes, exactly. And what you said is after everyone saw what we can do as a community and come together like this, it's even increased the um, so. desire to be here because I ultimately so. that's what everybody wants, you know, yeah. and in the end. The, the quick yeah. plug there is if you're here or coming here, you got to support these local businesses so that they can stay alive, right? All the restaurants, all the everything like that, that depends on the tourist economy that, that didn't come this fall. We need to ensure that we're supporting them so that quality of life remains going forward and those businesses are still with us. Exactly. And yeah. they will be. We're resilient. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. Thank you so much, Zach. You rock. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. We'll check right, you bye. later. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome me to this home. Oh, my gosh. How cool is this? Let's look around. Now, this home was built in 2014, so it's not super old. And it has four bedrooms. How many baths? Two and a half, I think. Two and a half baths. And what's really cool about it is the whole dang neighborhood is quite new. We're driving around. We're seeing new construction about things still going up. So... Um, you have a lot of new neighbors too, and it's just kind of a newer fun community here in what's it called? The, Gro the Grove at Hall Creek is the name of it. Now let's look around because I love this open concept here. You have a gas fireplace that has like a little bit of a modern touch with some slate in it. Look over here. here Y'all, here's the rage. Here's the rage, at least in my head, but no, here's the rage in real estate. Wallpaper. Who loves wallpaper? Raise your hand, comment down below. I think it's so fun and you can totally spruce up a room by just adding an accent wall of wallpaper. Now, is it easy? No, it's not. That's why there are professionals that do that, not me. But you know what I do? I help people relocate to Asheville. And that is my passion and my pleasure and I have a team. We all work together to guide you, the person that's moving to Asheville, in the right direction to find you the perfect place. And we show you homes like this so that you can figure out where you wanna live in Asheville and for what budget. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, cool, it goes right through to, to the laundry room. Look at this, you got double vanities, a huge shower. Everywhere I go, they have a really big shower these days. And I love the the flooring there with the natural stones. And then how convenient is that just to have the washer and dryer right off of the bedroom? I really like their style. It's very artsy and eclectic and a little bit bohemian. If you look around here, you'll see there's art everywhere. Now, if you know Asheville, which you do, cause you've been watching this channel for a little bit, you know, what do we love in Asheville? Art. Where's art from? The heart. Okay, let's go upstairs, y'all. Okay, so there's one bedroom downstairs, which is the primary bedroom, but there's three other bedrooms we need to discover. 
They'll check out this art and this huge vaulted ceiling. I dig it. Oh, here's the little bedroom and a little workout area. Nice. They also, it looks like they use it for an office. And then let's look at, oh, look how adorable this is. Now this overlooks the backyard, which we'll see in a minute. So you just wait. Okay, so heading upstairs here, you have a full bath with a pretty deep tub there. That's really nice. Cool copper sink. The third bedroom upstairs has a little bit more room, which is nice. Look how tall this bed is. Oh my gosh, and it's another pink room, y'all. We're on a roll, we're on a pink roll today. You come out, you look right over the fireplace in the living room downstairs. Now here's what I wanna see, because in Asheville, you're outside so much during the year, your outside space can be quite important. So let's see what they have going on outside. So right off the little dining room kitchen area is a covered deck. Oh, look, it's a sunken hot tub. You can do a run and jump. Should we do a run and jump? No. Look, it's a hot tub right here. Okay, now that's tempting right now. And that's so cool. Look, what they did, like a little privacy fence with some fake greens. And I love it how they put it down. Sometimes when you see just a hot tub like sitting on a deck, it doesn't look as nice. That looks absolutely fabulous. How fun. Now this is 0.23 acres. So this is not a ton of land, but you do have a little bit of a front, um, a front yard, and then you have this private backyard. And this is what you'll see often in Asheville because it's so wooded. I mean, we have lots of trees here. So you don't necessarily have to have tons and tons of acreage to get privacy. Oh, it looks like they have a little fountain too. Because a lot of the times you will find there's some evergreens over here and evergreens back there and they have some lights going on. Now you do see your neighbors, but a lot of times you'll find that you'll be backing up. You'll be backing up to a wooded area. And so you can come out in your birthday suit if you want to and run around and nobody will ever see you, which is so fabulous. I just love the back of this home. This is such a great architectural style. And they have a little, they have a little raised uh, potting, what's it called, garden? <laughs> a little garden right here, raised bed. Makes it easy to grow some stuff right here. I love it. And a fenced in yard. So if you had like a little dog, it could just run around out here. It's, this is a really beautiful spot. It's super sweet. So let's talk about where we are in Asheville because we are in East Asheville. This is a little bit of a hidden gem and I hate to even tell you about it, but it is my job and duty because this is what I do is I give you the inside trader secrets. So East Asheville is awesome because it doesn't have a lot of traffic. It is really close to downtown. So right now we're about 10 minutes from like proper downtown Asheville, but we're really close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's just like a hop, skip and a jump up the road. We're really close to the nature center, really close to the mall. If you like to, if you're a mall walker, really close to the mall, which is also great for letting your kids run wild in the wintertime. Everything is so absolutely accessible from East Asheville super super easy to get around here we are at the grove at hall creek which is not to be confused with the subdivision hall creek a little bit different so get in touch with us we'll let you know where we are and, and uh where you might want to be as well reach out any of the ways down below mm. so how much home how much would this home go for so let's recap a little bit 2014 four bedrooms two and a half baths um what is it six almost 1600 square feet and 0.223 acres. So in East Asheville, 10 minutes from downtown on the east side. How much does it go for? Just on the market, 700,000. This is such a cute neighborhood. And it is quite established. Look at look at the trees, look at everything. And in these, some homes are over 10 years old for sure. And there's some mountain views in the distance too and nice little sidewalks. Uh, one thing I wanna talk about too is homeowner's insurance. We've had a lot of comments on our channel and as realtors, it is our duty to make sure that we inform you about anything that we know with homeowner's insurance. So reach out down below too if you need to get into contact with us for any questions you have about relocation. So with homeowner's insurance, after this flood, a lot of people are concerned it's gonna be like Florida and people are gonna get dropped and things are gonna change and premiums are gonna go up. I talked to our main homeowner insurance company yesterday and here's what they had to say. This is officially with homeowner's insurance, so don't yell at me, homeowner's insurance, um, said this has been classified as a once in a thousand year flood by them, not me, by them. And they said because of that, they do not anticipate any sort of increases in the near future. 
Now, if this were to occur often, which we do not, none of us think it's going to occur often, but if it were to, then they would reevaluate that. So they're going to wait over the next few years and see the statistics of the area and say, oh, is it flooding more? Which, you know, we don't really think so. But, and then it, things might change at that point. But just like Francis or Ivan or things like that, because it, if it only happens every once in a thousand years, then it's going to be a different story than if it happens once every five years. So the likelihood is not great that they are going to increase all premiums or drop people or not issue flood insurance. Now, if you were in a flood zone already and uh, or on the fringe of a flood zone and were severely affected, that might that might change in a few years. But if you're just in a regular old neighborhood on a hill and going about your business and did not have any substantial damage from water, I do not anticipate that any sort of premium premiums are going to change at all. So there's the skinny on that. Want, want more info? Always reach out. We're here for you. So if you want to see more footage about post-hurricane and what it's looking like now, then check out this video right over here. And until then, y'all, ciao for now.